Well, you've been on social media, you know a lot about the hype from the geomagnetic storm or the northern lights that's been predicted here. And I will tell you right off the bat, uh, usually here in central Indiana, it takes pristine conditions to see them. Now the forecast has been revised, okay? So this orange line basically is demarcation where you might be able to see it with a camera, okay? Yesterday, this was all the way down to parts of Alabama. All right, uh, now with all that said, the usual suspects, uh, northern lower Michigan, uh, the northern tier, Canada, this is likely gonna be one heck of a show, one of the biggest magnetic storms uh, that we've had in possibly a couple of decades here. Uh, but as we zoom in and get a little closer to home, uh, you know, the northern half of the state, again, there's a chance away from some of the city lights that you might be able to see this. Um, and this is a map that our, our buddy Matt Standridge made for us here. So again, Fort Wayne, South Bend, uh, maybe some of the northern suburbs of Indy, if, and the key words, if, we have clear sky, all right? Uh, the timing on this is from about 10 p.m. to five in the morning, the likelihood that you're going to see this without a camera, if we have clear conditions, is very low, okay? Now, unfortunately, during that time, that also coincides with a batch of cloud cover and rain that we're expected to move through. Here's Future Track 13 at 10 o'clock. You can see a scattering of clouds here. And then as we play forward, there's gonna be a front coming in from the west northwest. And so we're gonna see an increase in cloud cover. Perhaps there might be a window for some of the, uh, you know, uh, northern light chasers to maybe see some of this. Again, the odds right now look to be low. If you wanna hop in your car, and make it up to northern lower Michigan, perhaps a much better shot of seeing them. So why is there a chance to see the aurora in Indiana? Well, yesterday, this happened. You see that bright flash? It's called a coronal mass ejection. A sunspot 16 times bigger than the Earth sped out a cloud of plasma. All that energy is going to get to Earth sometime tonight. That means it's going fast enough to circle the Earth in about the time it will take you to watch this video, at least 560,000 miles an hour. That is going to slam into the Earth. Thanks to the way the Earth is made, it has a magnetic field and an atmosphere. The magnetic field keeps the worst radiation out. The rest hits the atmosphere, making the aurora but satellites in space don't have that protection. So they might get damaged by what NOAA is calling a geomagnetic storm. The devices down here on Earth will probably be safe, but it's possible things like your cell phone could be impacted since these do rely on satellite. However, us in central Indiana should be far enough south. Probably is not gonna be a big deal other than maybe your impacts to your GPS.